people that come into hospital with absolutely nothing and nobody. People from up country, they don't have visitors, they don't have connections, they have nothing. And we just decided that we were going to try it out at Fortescue and it's taken from there. And it's incredible how mm. much impact you can actually have in that two minutes. Yes, yeah. You can't actually imagine engaging with somebody, praying for them, having that much of an impact. We offer prayer if they want to pray, and nine times out of ten it is accepted and we go forward from there. There was a story that we heard where we prayed for somebody on the Sunday afternoon, and the following day we heard that they passed away on six o'clock. So we were possibly the last person to actually pray for them at that particular mm -hmm. moment. And it kind of just hit home that what you're doing at that moment can have pro unbelievable reaction eternity-wise. Okay, I'd really encourage anyone that um, would like to come and visit with us at the hospital um, to at least try it once. It's really a life-changing experience and you're making such a difference to, to people's lives in such a short period of time. He, when, when we got to him, the last visit we were at, um, he's in quite a state, so we, he was the last person I went to. And when I prayed for him, or asked him if he wanted to pray, he said yes. I don't actually know if he understood what the prayer was about at that stage. But when we prayed, he held my hand and he was crying, yes God, yes God. He was to lose his leg that evening, they were going to amputate his leg, so we prayed that God would save his leg. And I phoned on Tuesday, I followed up on Tuesday to see how he was doing at the nursing station. And he was fine and he hadn't lost his leg. Thank you Jesus, he hadn't lost his leg. And I went to go see him the Wednesday. And when I walked in, it was quite awesome. He was saying, you saved my leg, you saved my leg. So I said, no, 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 I didn't, God did. And he said, will you pray for me again? So yes, I think just those steps will renew his faith and the hope that he has that Jesus does heal is phenomenal. He was telling his mom and that, so yeah. Always, whenever I leave the hospital visits, I'm always more charged up than when I arrived. You would think it's yes, going to be yeah. tiring, etc. It's actually the complete opposite. This is Cape Town. This is where we share the gospel. We reach over 2,000 people every week. Our vision is change lives, changing lives. Therefore, we want to change more people's lives with Christ. Our Sunday nights are going to be a multi-generational evening service for all campuses. The most dynamic service of the weekend as we combine the whole church family. Teen service is now officially View City. View City will be happening every Friday night from the 26th of October for ages 13 to 18. So let's recap. View Church have two new services, a generational service at 6 p.m. at Table View for everyone from every campus, starting on Conference Sunday, the 21st of October, and View City on Friday nights at 7 p.m. starting on the 26th of October. Change someone's life. Hey Church, I have the privilege of being a part of one of our frontline hosting teams. Our aim is to serve you on Sundays so that you can connect with God freely. The vision of our church is change lives, changing lives. That as God has changed our life, that we can be a part of changing someone else's life. But don't just take my word for it, listen to this. As soon as I stepped into the church area, um, I was greeted by someone in a red shirt at the time, which I found out was frontline. I think it was divine intervention if I could say I joined the frontline team. I remember going to Dion's life group and we were two weeks into the life group and his team had to serve on frontline and um, I thought okay I can do this. I can go and stand there and I can smile and wave you know and, and not necessarily but I can do it. I can stand and smile and I remember standing there and the more people came in and the more I greeted them and the more I smiled I realized that I had the ability to change lives in the same way that my life had changed when I saw these people. The more I've done it, the more I've realized how it's not only impacted others around me, but it's impacted my life. So if you aren't serving in any area of church life and you want to get involved, if you're friendly and you like other people and want to be a part of changing someone else's life, then why don't you sign up? You can get hold of us on the website, 
over Facebook and Twitter, or why not do it the good old fashioned way and go sign up at the information table after the service. The 15th of November is Legends Night. If you're a volunteer that has been part of a legendary team that has assisted in changing someone's life, then expect your invite to arrive soon. The staff of U Church want to thank you for serving and being a legend in 2012. So all you need to do is RSVP to Monique by the 5th of November, arrive on the day, sit back and get served by our staff. Legends, 15 November. Regrettably, no children and no care bears. Terms and conditions apply. See press for details.